If you like to take your notes on pen and paper, but want to keep it in a digital storage, but have it completely searchable, today we're going to test out if Evernote can take my chicken scratch handwriting and put it into a fully searchable document. Let's check it out. What's up guys, Louis here. One of the biggest reasons that I love digital note taking is that my handwriting is absolute garbage. Like it's so bad. I can hardly read it back sometimes. So what do you do if you're in a situation, maybe you're at a conference or you're at a meeting, you're taking notes, you can't type fast enough, or you just like to have the free style of pen and paper to take those notes, but you want to keep them in a place that are searchable because a lot of the time, like I've got probably about five or six of these like notebooks, right? But it's very hard for me to remember where things are, search them, I have to skim through each one to find out where that little piece was that I took down at a conference I was at and I heard some revelation, but now I can't find it again. Well, the solution could be transferring that over to a digital note-taking app like Evernote. Now, there are a lot of note-taking apps, obviously, but Evernote kind of specializes in this because it has OCR, Optical Character Recognition. And that's what sets it apart from a lot of other apps. So let's test this out. Now, one thing is you can't take a picture on your phone and then upload it to Evernote and have this work. You have to do it with the app. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the phone. We're going to take a picture and scan this inside of the app. And then we'll pull up the desktop and see what we can find. Okay, so here we are in Evernote on the phone. We're going to click on new. Then we're going to go for camera. Now, you can see that this is just like looking at taking photos right now. What we're going to do is we're going to switch it to auto. But as soon as we click auto, it's going to start trying to find things and scan and capture. So if you're not ready for it, it can like, it will find like the keys on the keyboard and like try and scan them and stuff. So what you want to do is get your document up and ready first, and then we'll switch to auto. So you can see we've got this test right here. So Evernote handwritten test. Let's see how it goes. Can it search for the phrase realtor productivity in Evernote? So let's hit auto and it will start, start scanning, boom, and it's captured already. Now let's have a look and see what it captured. As you might have heard there, it was taking multiple pictures, so it will probably have two documents in this. And what that's good for is, if you have pages and pages, you can just sit it down, scan it, it will go click, scan to the next page, click, scan to the next page, click. So you can quickly go through a whole notebook or a whole bunch of documents uh, and search through them. So I'm probably gonna go back with those five notebooks I was talking about and scan through all of them. So now we have that uploaded in the phone. All we're gonna do is just go ahead and save that. And let's title this hand written test, save, boom. All right, now we've got that down. Let's switch over to the desktop app and see how this translates. Okay, so now we're on the desktop version of Evernote. Uh, we're gonna check a couple things out. Now, uh, let's just go right into the note here, okay? So you can search it from here, or you can just go into notes. And, so let's click on that. Let's take it full screen, bink. Now, uh, what you're gonna see at first is that it, it's like a huge document, right? It actually took three pictures of that um, document right there. So what you wanna do is shrink this down. So you're gonna click once on it, come down, find the corner, and just drag this until you get the right size you want because you don't want to click on this and have it ginormous all the time so you want to probably bring this down right here now all right so these two others i do not need so the way to get rid of these is actually to come down in the document as if you're going to type below it and then delete and then delete again and then we're left with just one okay so now we're in the dock um, now, one thing to note here, when you are searching this again, the search function from the home page isn't going to bring this up. I'll show you what I mean here. If I go into um, the search and type in, let's see, let's just type in, let's see how it goes. If I type that in, let's see how it goes. Boom. And you'll see it comes up with these two documents right here, which are not the document that I was going for. So you actually have to search within that document. The only kind of drawback of this uh, is that you have to search within this note. So you just go into the note, click on the three buttons, come down here and say uh, find within note. And then I can type in, you know, let's see. It sometimes doesn't get the full phrasing, but that right here, if I go C right here, anything with an S, you can see that it's 
it's taken my um, writing and putting things in. But you can see, look, it's not recognizing the C there. Some things it isn't quite seeing. If I type in Realtor, not quite getting that. So, but re Real, it gets that. So you can see it's not perfect, but it is still more searchable than if you just had a handwritten copy. So basically, if you had this, you could take each page of your doc and go ahead and put all of those in. So each, each page of your notebook, the handwritten one, you just put that in and you have them all right there. I could title it as that. So if I click on title, you can see it just comes up as that. And what we want to do is go ahead, rename it. And we could go to page one, boom, and it's right there. So if you have your entire notebook, you can have them all in pages or the titles of the different pages or whatever that looks like. So basically you can take a complete notebook scan it into Evernote and now it's searchable within the note and that is one thing regardless of of how many pages you have in here it's all within one note so you can search within the note to see if you can find it again it's not perfect but it is a way to put it into a digital asset and keep it forever because the thing that I always freak out about with these books is that if I misplace it if I lose it I lose all of the information that I've taken notes in here, okay? And I don't take notes just for the sake of it. It's all important to my business or moving forward or whatever that looks like. So I want to make sure that I protect that by scanning things in. And then the last thing I like to do, guys, is just to tidy things up a little bit. So let's open that back up and preview. You can see here it has the bookmark. It has like, you know, a page, a bit of a background here. So I'm going to go in here and let's go to edit and annotate. And I like to come down here to crop. And then I'll just crop the exact page right here, take it there and like that. If you want to, you could take it all the way up to there, but if I'm going to do the whole notebook, I'll keep it the length so it's all kind of similar. I'll just crop that. And now it's a lot neater and tidier. And you can annotate on here as well. Like if you've got different images, you want like draw an arrow to, or you know, annotate some text in there too, you totally can. And you can put notes over your uh, existing image. So. A lot of cool things you can do. Basically, I love this to keep it as a digital asset, so I'm never going to lose this data. But again, the search function works in a certain way. Now, with your handwriting, it might be completely different. You might have lovely handwriting, so the search function is easy. Actually, if I put my wife's handwriting in here, it searches it much better. Mine is just terrible. I rush when I'm writing, and I write in all capitals. So. Mine isn't the best example, but I just want to show you how to do this. So I would test it out with you, grab your phone on Evernote, scan it, put it in, search for it within the document and see if it works. And then you can put all of your written notebooks inside of this to keep it forever and make sure your data doesn't get lost. So that's it for today, guys. If you do use this function and you can search all of your notes flawlessly, let me know in the comments below. Perhaps I just need to work on my handwriting. If you have any questions or comments on this topic or want to see more Evernote instructions, drop them in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the newsletter yet, you can do that too in the link below and we'll see you on the next one.